boom bye bye back again with these quick updates because trust if it's not for from king mix with the incredible people well go on you see bro, i said i don't know my style but but bless up on yourself first you see bro, i said most and most importantly you know what i mean but there if we talk about that boy your charlie black say kick off a uh, um airport flight in that jersey and he blames it on racism yeah they always blame it on racism you know Ray J fell suicidal from Kim Kardashian and Spice chimes in and laughs at them basically. And the people them say she too enough. You know what I mean? And them find out say we're getting closer to the owner of this money, but if you've not been watching my channel, you know so we was one of the first ones, if not the first one, to let you know what I go on from when I go on, you see me and say people. Just like and share the video from nowhere, I try to reach broader audience. How we need your help in doing so, you see me answer. Yeah, let's get into it. So, all my fans in Israel, I want to apologize to you all and let you all know that the show in Israel, Tel Aviv, won't be happening on May 4th. It's beyond Charlie Black control and it wasn't the promoter's fault. The promoter did everything. I have my ticket and everything. I'm here still in New Jersey. We were racially profiled by a head of security guy named um, Eliran, seen. He works. He's a head of security for the airline called Eliran or, or whatever it name. Seen. In New Jersey, I'm gonna post his picture. Seen, cause he was saying that um, we can't travel with no money. Mm -hmm. um, our bill for it. We can't travel with our phone. We can't travel with um, luggages. And if it's just a lot. Seen. So. I just want to let you know that it's not the promoter's fault and it's not Charlie Black fault but it's that racist guy and I'm going to post his picture in my story right now I don't know if you guys know him but you, you guys need to report him and everybody or anybody who know him please report this man saying yeah because we I've never been this hurt coming to Israel before seeing and I'm sorry to disappoint all my fans in Israel Stay tuned for the next day or for more information. We'll move forward. See? Have a blessed day. We talk more. Bless it. He also posted up in his story, Ellie Ran. He said, This is the racist man, Ellie Ran. I don't even know if that's his real name, but that's what he gave us. Plus, he didn't give his last name. He also stated, 2022 and racism is still real. It's sad, but it's true. I'm a Jamaican and we show everyone love and respect whenever they come to our country. I won't let what happened yesterday dilute my love for other race slash class or creed. Blessings to the good people around the world. Hashtag team unstoppable for life. What do you need to stop saying the Jamaican and saying the African because out of many one people come at Jamaica, come out of Jamaica, you know. And it's always the dark skinned one them that gets disrespected. It's never the Indian um Jamaicans or the Chinese Jamaican or the white Jamaican in a scene. And honestly, I mean really two business what I go on with Charlie Blacks getting kicked out of the airport because him black me for some reason, I don't know. Maybe him in a world puss bottom or one of them thing. Of course, him swear it's a world puppy are the only one that does reviews about him. But we done nothing but good reviews about Charlie Blacks. It's nothing for us to mix him up, you know. You know what I mean? But, you know, these people feel, um, I'm going to say different through Spanish people are by their music. You know what I mean? But like I said, the only reason why me I do this update on that brother here is because one of my followers asked me to do so and you know my respect my followers them you know so yeah i mean if you have anything to say pertaining to charlie black situation put in the comment section have you ever been um dealt with like a a, a piece of ish about the airport people you know what i mean why 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 you see me i say no matter how much money you have how much um how famous you are, you still a nigga compared to still a nigga in you know, other people your eyes. Yeah, you know I mean for sure you say nobody not like black people. You see me I said. 
I mean, but anyway, let us proceed with the updates then because we don't want to stay too long for the story. You know? Now, dance our fans say Spice is sticking her butt in where it don't belong. You see me, I say, and you know Spice batty big, so you know that she enough and bagger bagger. Well, they are talking about this situation with Ray J opening up about the sex tape he done with Kim K back in the day. You see, Kim Kardashian, on her first day of the reality show, sure that made Ray J look like a pervert and all of this stuff. Yeah, I mean, so him want to clarify things about Kanye West and Kim Kardashian. You see me, I say, yeah, let's take a look at that. And then we'll look what Spice have to say. You see me, I say, child, no, queen of dance, I can't get a break, you know. So, like I said, Ray J opened up about the 2006 tape scandal, saying it's release was a partnership with Kim K and Kris Jenner since the beginning. I've sat in those shadows for over 14 years allowing Kardashians to use my name to abuse my name make millions of dollars over a decade and a half talking about a topic I never really spoken about Ray J said. He said when I put on the comments that all this is a lie. I didn't mean Kanye coming to meet with me about some second sex tape. I mean, all of this is a lie from the beginning of us putting this sex tape out. This has been the biggest lie in the history of the industry entertainment. I mean, they are not letting the world know that there's a bunch of sex tapes that we made, but they're not going anywhere because she has them all. Ray J, yeah, idiot, for giving away all of them sex tapes there. You know what I mean? But him saying him felt suicidal because when you know something's real and it's true, and you're watching a whole family create an empire from a lie they've created. It's heartbreaking and disrespectful to all of the entertainers who have been honest and true to their craft. Okay, and these are the messages, the text messages he um exchanged with Kim, allegedly. You know what I mean? But me not like Kim responds and me not like Kim smart enough for. But she said, he said, why are you playing games, Kim? I've been nothing but a team player. We all had an agreement. Now you are trying to drag my name for your new show and that ain't cool. It effed up my business and relationships when we sat down with um, Blank and your mom. And we planned it all. All of this we planned. You see me, I say, and you're taking this lie to the next level. You're really taking this lie to the next level, making me look crazy. I don't want to expose the real that we did, but you are leaving me no choice. Kanye said he wanted you to wanted the footage and gave and I gave it to him all the videos and pics and and texts from me and you because I was trying to make things okay. Yeah, I mean. I make you feel better, but now I realize there's another promo stunt for you. Unless you reach out to me soon, I'm going to take it to another level where it shows all of what we did. All the meetings and convos about the planned date and times of our meetings and the whole lie. You and Chris planned since the beginning. This is not a threat. You're taking this too far. You know what we did. Your mom controlled that whole S-tape deal with blank blank and blank it was her idea to put it out and you get the drift you know said so kim kardashian responded said i completely understand and appreciate hearing this from you i want you to know that i wish nothing but the best from you this hurt us both in so many ways and i know we are aligned in wanting to move forward <laughs> sound like i lie yeah i talk you know you see me i say um yeah so basically she's saying that she's going to make things right and all of these things you know um she said that ray j only saw the first episode that might have made him look bad but the second episode is going to make him look good in good light you know what i mean just i give you a little background why spice has said this no she said kim was ray j pum pum and you know say spice now nah, let this pum pum song die out you know because that big hit with the kardashians is him i say Every other day she's trending with this pum pum thing. You know the Americans are really taken to it. And I mean, as you can see, Carly Red saying, I'm going, I'm coming to get your phone, Miss Pum Pum. And I mean, so this is definitely a good look for Spice, you know. Um, I don't know if she's going to get a Grammy for this song. But it's a good look. Maybe you'll end up on the Kim Kardashian show. But people putting out a comment section. Are you feeling sorry for Ray J that he didn't make 
as much money as the Kardashians did, you know. Um, I don't really know what to say, you know. All me know say me wouldn't give the Kardashians shit, you know what I mean? Because I years in my city, I'm a do them garbage and him never said nothing only when his brand is um in danger you know so he kind of okay this family uh for destroying people's lives out there you know um if i me, may not give them shit you know i mean you need some kind of leverage on these types of people you know and they only know how to play dirty you know what i mean Boy, 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 boy. But anyway, I'm just like, giving them update upon that spice. Look like, say, she remix the thing. I say, I Ray J, pum, pum. Boy, Kim. Boy, 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 boy. Anyway, people, let us proceed with the matters. Now, we was one of the first people to name um this person of interest uh, that the Americans wanted extradited in 2005. You know what I mean? We did this review like seven, eight days ago. You know what I mean? I think about two reviews me do on it, you know. And a lot of them was up in the feelings because I mentioned JLP. Well, JLP and PMP involved because both um, administration refused to extradite this businessman. You know what I mean? I'm going to read you that article come because on the claims that my um, news is not credible, which it proves it very much is but anyway police name person of interest in another 600 million mantega bay mark narco bus confirmed charges against businessman the saint james police are urging presley bingham otherwise called presser um to immediately report to the narcotics division at 230 spanish town road kingston 11 you know what i mean bingham is off tarada drives address in saint james he's being urged to immediately Report to the police kingdom. If him not gone already because him will be an idiot. Finn still be in a Jamaica because he's just as big as Dodders. That's how the U.S. Embassy put him, you know. And you know Dodders, they try to put on wig and dress. And stockings for get out of Jamaica. But anyway, he was in the entertain April 26. On reasons and suspicions of dangerous acts. 24 pounds of cocaine which was hold. You know what I mean? Um... And eighty two point five million dollars, you see me, and that was owned, um, catch another one of the partner them car, you see me. I say, him name Arrow Johnson, you know what I mean? Boy, 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 boy. Me tell me says unfinished business that Uncle Sam, of a Jamaica, and they never listen to me. But them say it's not clear whether Bingham is among the list of seventeen persons of interest, of the Saint James Police published torture. Which he is, you know what I mean? But they might make it look like a way, like them just want to question him. Is but he's definitely on the list. <laughs> Do you see what I'm saying? Boy, 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 boy. Like I said, it would have been really stupid if him. I'm not there, but tapping the list are David Brown from Catherine Old Montego Bay. He was wanted in connection with the killing of his common law wife. Um, right, and his team are anxious to find Nicholas Lewis otherwise Kilo who operates out of Lilliput area. He's a person of interest in at least three murders, which occurred in Lilliput Moat in January. The DSP assigned two others, Tevan Chanson, other known as Puffy, of Carford Street and Mount Salem address, I mean, who allegedly engaged in police in gunfight last month. Boy, and Kenroy Roach of Spring Mount, St. James, is wanted for a murder committed at the parish last year. You see me, I say, I be a bad people come out of there. We just I wait for the Americans to say they want the money. You know what I mean? Because 